Despite having made hundreds of curries, I'd never made a lambuna before. So I did some research and lots of testing. Let's see how we got on. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now you guys know we love a good curry, and it just so happens that one of our most reader-requested recipes is a curry. So this is my version of lambuna, which also happens to be Chris's dad's favourite curry. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by heating two tablespoons of ghee over a medium heat in a large pan. I'm using ghee because I find it gives the curry a lovely flavour, but if you haven't got ghee, you can just replace it with oil. Now we're going to fry off those spices. Add in a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one cinnamon stick and four cardamom pods. Now we're going to fry those spices for about two to three minutes until they start to release their lovely fragrance. Add in a large diced onion along with three cloves of minced garlic and two teaspoons of minced ginger. Then fry, stirring often for five minutes until the onion's softened and lightly browned. Now we're going to add in six green bird's eye chilies, two of them that are finely chopped and four left whole, plus two bay leaves, two teaspoons of ground coriander, one teaspoon each of ground cumin and turmeric, a pinch of ground cloves and half a teaspoon each of salt and black pepper. Then stir and cook for another two to three minutes until those spices start to release their fragrance. In our research of Buna, we found that the heat level can vary by quite a lot, but you can adjust it to your own taste. So if you want it hotter, you can just add in some chilli powder or some chilli flakes, or if you want it a little bit milder, just reduce those fresh chillies. Now we're going to add in the lamb. I've got about a kilo, which is about 2.2 pounds of lamb shoulder steaks here that have been chopped into nice meaty chunks. Now you can use leg, shoulder or neck for this curry. They all work really well. Add the lamb to the pan and stir to coat the lamb in those amazing spices. We're going to cook the lamb for about five minutes, stirring often until it's sealed. After the lamb's sealed, we're going to add in three tablespoons of tomato puree or tomato paste, one red pepper that's been chopped, and six medium tomatoes that have been chopped into large chunks, along with 360ml or one and a half cups of lamb or chicken stock. Stir together and bring to the boil. Cover the pan and turn down the heat so the sauce is simmering gently. Simmer for about 60 to 90 minutes until the lamb's tender and the sauce has thickened. So you can cook it on the hob just like this, but you'll have to check it and stir it a few times during cooking to make sure it doesn't catch on the bottom. What I actually prefer to do is to cook it in the oven at about 170C or 325F, again for about 60 to 90 minutes until that lamb is lovely and tender. Then remove from the oven and serve top with some fresh coriander. This lambuna is such a wonderful curry. Lovely, rich flavours and that lamb is tender and fall apart. I love to serve it with some boiled rice and some homemade chapati. The recipe for those is coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed. See you next time.